this is World Buffet, and this is the um, kind of the salad fruit section. We have kind of the meaty section over there. Um, we're just going to go around and look at some of the food. They have uh, more meat and chicken. They have kind of a desserts bar. Um, they then they have like more hibachi and stuff like that. Um, you can see some are filling the plates there, some more meat, um, more of a salad bar, a dessert bar with pudding and jello and cakes and stuff. Pretty cool, pretty cool. A decent variety of random stuff there, some pastries, some more like pasta and eggs if you want that kind of stuff for a lighter meal. Um, all you can eat, uh, you can see definitely a couple of pastries there, um, sweets, soup, have a taste of that later. And um, now we just go over to um, crab rangoons and stuff. I like that stuff. It's some barbecue chicken. And over there we have this is the pho bar, I think. And that is the hibachi bar. We have the sushi bar over there. And that is it for the um, menu here. All right. We have our first plate. And. It is sushi and egg roll. I always eat sushi first at these buffets and we have an egg roll because I like to start off with an appetizer. Nice little plate, not as much selection as the other Chinese place but still looks pretty decent. So let's actually start with the egg roll. Pretty good pork egg roll. I would say fairly high quality, got some uh, vegetables, good crunchiness on the shell, very very tasty, very tasty, mm. I like it, I like the egg roll, it's very very nice. Let's start off with this shrimp, you can see not a huge fan of the rice to shrimp ratio it's quite you know not very good very little shrimp very little rice but let's see how it actually tastes pretty good the rice is sticky pretty good sticky but how does the shrimp taste that is the main thing about the sushi could be a little fresher. Um, it has that bit of a dry taste when you taste the shrimp. So the shrimp sushi would definitely be better. What about these rolls? I don't exactly know what this one is. This one has wasabi in it, it looks like. Well, no, it has avocado, has some crab, has some cucumbers. So this is the first one. The blend taste is actually okay. The fish inside doesn't really stick out though for me. So, not the best roll I've had, but the eggs on top make it passable in terms of taste. Mm. Not too bad for buffet sushi. This looks like to me, a, this looks like to me a California roll with some sauce dressing on top. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Tastes like a California roll with some stuff on top. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Passable, passable, decent tasting for buffet, for buffet sushi anyways. Now we have the sashimi. I think this is albacore. Maybe tuna? I'm not sure. I think this is albacore. Let's dip and eat. Pretty good. Not quite as fresh as the other place, but still pretty good. Definitely passable. So decent sushi here. Um, the choices aren't nearly as good as like Journey, but the egg roll was delicious. Um, I don't think the sushi is quite as fresh uh, tasting 
but it's still passable and it still gives me a pretty good eat in terms of sushi. All right, I'm gonna finish the rest of the sushi and go on to the next plate. So this is my second plate. And you can see I got some green beans, a couple of crab rangoons, some buns, some shrimp, and uh, I got some barbecue chicken and a couple of greens in there. I also have a cup of hot and sour soup. Now I've never been impressed with a hot and sour soup at a buffet, so we'll have to see what this one tastes like. <coughs> Let's take a spoonful. Mm. Pretty good. This is actually pretty good. Um, I really look for the mushrooms in sweet and sour soup. I'm a mushroom aficionado. I like shrooms. And uh, this soup has got a nice taste to it. Definitely better than average. So plus for the hot and sour soup. Hot and sour soup definitely has a nice mix to it. Next, we got this peanut butter chicken. Quite crispy. The meat's pretty good, and I like that peanut buttery taste. This is not a dish I make myself at home at any time, but it has a very nice taste to it. I like it. New go-to thing. What about these peachy red bean buns? I actually really like the design of these things. They look like peaches, but how do they actually taste? I don't like it that the plastic stuck to the bottom though. Definitely not as good as I was expecting. The bread is, I mean, the flour is just not there. Um, the actual red beans, not quite as sweet. And these are fairly low quality red bean buns. Definitely not the type I'm used to. I expect a lot of my out of my Chinese pastries, and this doesn't take doesn't make the cut. Try the green beans. So, they're not bad. I actually like green beans and zatai in them better, but this one doesn't have it. The onions are nice. Have a nice crunchy taste. So, not bad. Not my favorite, but definitely not bad. These shrimps with heads have kind of crappy heads, so let's see how they taste. I actually like these, this taste better than the other Chinese restaurant. They fry it right and they make it right. I like it. And now the crab rangoons.
Mm. Your basic crab rag, dude. Not excellent, but pretty good. Good cream cheese. Passable, passable, not bad at all. these little shrimpy things. Mm. Satisfying? Could use a little more flavor on the shrimp. But decently satisfying. So, okay. <clears throat> I judge them to be okay. Could be a little more crispy though. I like these things. I actually always pay for these things. It's kind of like a... Almost as a snack after my main meal um, when I'm not at a buffet, but the fact that they have these is a pretty big plus. This barbecue chicken teriyaki. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I like it a lot. So, this definitely gets a pass. Overall, this plate is a mixed bag. The soup was good. The bean buns were not as expected, but I haven't had good bean buns in any Asian buffet, so can't really knock it for that, I guess. The crab rangoons were good. The rest of the stuff was pretty average, so overall, a pretty good second plate. So for the third entree, we got a bowl of pho. Of course, to judge pho, you absolutely have to judge the broth first. Because good pho comes from good broth. Let's see how the broth tastes. It's better than the other, it's better than Journey for a broth, but it's still not like the pho broth, the pho broth I'm looking for. Better than the other place, but it still has a way to go. But it is a good day pho, so whatever. We got some shrimp. A little bit bland, but tastes like shrimp, whatever. And meatballs, of course. Mmm. There's a juicy meatball. Got some fatty in there, so it's pretty good. And I did get some tripe along with the meatballs. So here we are with some tripe. This regularly tastes like tripe. Um, they didn't cook it for all that long. Obviously, it's it's not raw or anything. It tastes fine, but it's not as good as like an actual pho place for pho. The the broth is a little weak. It's better than the other place tasting wise, but it's it is a little weak. And now the noodles. The needles, I think, need to be cooked a little more. Um, they're not like hard or anything, but they could be like a minute or two more in the uh, cooker. But they taste okay. Overall, probably like C, C minus for the pho. Better than the other place for buffets, but definitely not quite the pho I'm looking for. All right, that is the pho platter. All right, this is the last plate. Easy C, peaches and a blob of jello. Now, I'm not much of a salad person. They actually have a pretty good salad bar, but I focus on peaches and jello when it comes to salad. Plus, I ate some green beans earlier today. <clears throat> and being mostly carnivorous, I don't really uh, eat that much fruits and veggies when I come to a buffet. I actually do eat a lot of fruit, just not a lot of veggies, except for green beans at a Chinese buffet. So, um, you know, these are just regular canned peaches. And, uh, not bad, not bad. Overall, this buffet was okay. Uh, because of my personal taste preferences, I probably prefer the Journey, the other Asian buffet that's actually really famous around here because they have better sushi selection and a wider variety of food selection. But this place does actually have um, better soup and better pho and probably slightly better egg rolls. 
So overall, I give this place a B minus for value. I think it's like $13 or something. B minus for value. Good to fill you up, but I honestly prefer the other place because it has more options. And um, I think it provides better value overall. So that is the review of Journey Asian, uh, not Journey Asian, World Buffet in Madison. All right, that is today's review. I'll see you guys later.